Hey guys and welcome to PB Garage where today we're going to be talking about why your Volkswagen Mark 5 or Mark 6, that's Golf, Jetta, GTI and Rabbit might be throwing up this code right here for your ABS wheel speed sensor. Stick around. <laughs> So one of the issues with the car when I got it was um, the ABS would start to, or the traction control rather, would start to flash if I was accelerating. And then when I pulled the codes with VAGCOM, I found that um, it was giving me an implausible signal on the uh, left rear ABS sensor, basically. And I was hoping to get away kind of easy with this and just, you know, maybe clean it up. Maybe there was some debris in there or something. But once I got everything apart, it was a bit more of a mess. So you can see like this wheel bearing is, I mean, the wheel bearing itself is actually not too bad other than it's a bit stiff, but the ABS like tone ring here is just totally rotted away. Uh, and the sensor, you know, probably okay. But uh, unfortunately in order to get into all of this, I had to take the uh, brake caliper carrier off and the bolts holding that on were in really bad shape and were super, super tight. Like this guy's, you know, still locked in there even though the caliper's off or the carrier's off. And um, I had to use heat on these, quite a bit of heat to get these to move. And I melted the back of that ABS sensor plug a little bit. Um, so I don't know if you can see it back here. But yeah, tough to see back there. But the uh, plug where the, um, where this plugs into for your ABS signal, uh, it was a little bit melted on the back. So I'm gonna have to replace that sensor and obviously replace this hub and the um, tone ring here. And uh, yeah, so it's been a little bit more work than anticipated, but we'll get her done. So having a look at these hubs here, this is the one that came out of the car. This one here is one that I just picked up from the junkyard and it's not very old. So it should do at least for the interim. So you can see here, if we look at the back, so in this little ring here, this little plastic uh, ring, there's little magnets for the speed pickup for the uh, ABS sensor. And you can see here, you know, this one, it's all chewed up. I'm sure that those magnets are all messed up in there. And um, further to that, this one actually gouged the sensor. So the tip of the sensor that comes in and it usually like is right near that ring it's all gouged out. So that's for sure the source of that um, bad reading that I was getting or the, uh, whatever the code was called, um, implausible rear wheel speed sensor reading. So I'm gonna slap this on the car. Um, I'm working outside in the dark right now, so not too exciting, not much to see, but uh, we can have a quick look here. So I'm just gonna clean this up before I put that wheel bearing back on. And here you can see the tip of that sensor and you can see how it's all uh, notched in the end there. So I did get an extra sensor from the junkyard as well. I'm gonna throw that in and hopefully that takes care of my code. And then, you know, a little bit down the road, I'll throw a, a better quality wheel bearing on here, a new sensor. I'm just short on time and I don't wanna wait. So <laughs> that's what's going on right now. Junkyard's close enough. I can just go grab parts when I need. So I already know that doing that, replacing that hub and the ABS sensor fixed the problem because as soon as I rolled forward about six feet, that little yellow steering wheel turned off on the dash. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of an acceleration now. And what was happening before is the traction control was cutting in if I'd accelerate, even though nothing was slipping or anything, just because it couldn't read that wheel speed properly. So we'll call that a win for now. Like I say, got proper parts on the way because um, the bolts holding the caliper carrier in the back, when I took the um, bolts out, the one bolt was actually wrong. It's like a Home Depot, one of those black Allen head bolts. So I know that uh, at some point, whatever bolt was in there got rounded off or messed with anyway. So I needed to replace those bolts. I need to put in a new bolt to hold that hub assembly in. Um, so I'm ordering a bunch of parts anyways. I'll order a new hub. Uh, 
and a new ABS sensor, but at least now I know I've done the diagnostic, I know that's the issue, and I know that the issue is resolved with those parts. So, if you notice, ooh, no lights on the dash. So that means I'm just about ready to take this thing for, in for an inspection. Exciting times.